Hello and a very warm welcome to the audience. Um, I'm Ronnie Schnittke, Senior Sales Manager in the Global Transaction Bank of uh, Societe Generale here in Germany. We are here today for a workshop together with uh, the Artotech Treasury team around uh, the very special topic QYC, Know Your Customer. Yeah, as mentioned, Raymond, we had uh, a starter. Um, um, would it be great to discuss the results out of a poll? Yeah. And we have asked some treasurers um, earlier, as mentioned, it, uh, if yeah, what, what are the pain points? Yeah? And we have uh, um, flagged already um, four, or identified out of our perspective, four um, uh, core uh, points here. And the first thing is, what we are assuming, uh, paper -based pro the paper-based process. Yeah? There's a lot, there's a much of paper which you have around the world if you um, would uh, onboard um, any new bank or new account or new entity. It could be one uh, challenging point out of the perspective of a treasurer but also uh, the different regulation, yeah? not harmonized um, across the globe, different uh, regulators uh, uh, which uh, are looking after this issue um, in Hong Kong, HGMA, BaFin, etc. completely different views. But also, and this, this is also, and also the question if it's uh, um, um, a problematic uh, situation for the treasurer, uh, the interpretation of the bank, yeah, which could be different or um, a little bit more challenging as uh, the regulation in general is expecting, yeah, and of course um, as a resource, yeah, where if uh, um, the, the availability of the resource for this uh, process, which is really time-consuming and uh, uh, um, needs a lot of efforts, could be also a pain point. In the results, and this was uh, really interesting, um, the, the paper-based process, uh, uh, the paper-based, uh, the paper uh, uh, in general, um, um, which is required for the onboarding is the most challenging point out of the um, resu results um, from our poll. What is your view on this? If you take the four, these four core um, pain points, yeah, which of, of them is your most challenging and how would you group this in your reality? Thanks, Sonny. If I would have chosen, then I would take a paper-based uh, probably as well. Um, I mean, I'm doing it now since 10 years. I'm working in the treasury field. And uh, if I think about KYC, then I'm thinking in the back, um, and, and sometimes still, uh, a lot of the documentation is paper-based. It means a lot of lot of documents which have to be wet ink signed, which have to be shared within a group, etc., etc. So um, it's quite a lot of effort just for sharing the documentation mm -hmm. within the co uh, group, and that's taking quite some time and resources. So you have to think about, um, as Tim mentioned, we are a globally um, acting uh, group. So um, we have our entities in more than 40 uh, countries. And as mentioned as well, we are, uh, since we are working uh, centrally, so everything is um, done by us uh, in the Treasury Department. So we have to share with the colleagues the documents. Um, they have to uh, send it in return once they signed it uh, uh, via messenger to us and we have to review them again before we send it to the bank. So that lay takes a lot of time, um, so it's quite time consuming, let's say it that way. And um, thanks to Corona, actually I don't like to thank to Corona, uh, but um, um, you know, with the uh, pandemic, the, 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 the bank has to change because the people are not uh, every day in office anymore. So um, they started to uh, more in, um, involve in, let's say, e-signing in uh, digital uh, workflow, which I really, really appreciate and, and I like most because that fastened up the, um, the process. That's absolutely right. It's, um if you uh, look after good things uh, out of the pandemic, uh, the boost for digitization, I think, is uh, the one and only, but I'm not, not, not a really important point, yeah, which has helped here. And if you look after the, uh, the, the rest of the points, yeah, it's, 
paper based on resources, I think that is something which is, uh, uh, has a direct link. Yeah? Was this also, or is this, uh, this resource issue for, for you and your organization also a topic, or was this a topic? Maybe before I come to resources, um, I think that the next challenge point definitely um, is the, the, the point with the different regula regulation um, within the regions. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's um, or what we experienced in the past. Uh, even within a bank, uh, we saw that there are uh, different requirements in terms of what um, documents they needed, what needs to be signed, what, needs to, uh, what information they want to have. So it's not only um, between the different banks, it's also within the bank in the different regions, so that which made it quite challenge for us in the past to um, finished on this documentation, let's say it that way. Yeah. And um, here it helps a lot um, in the, the experience we did with you when we started two years ago with the first KYC, that um, you had one team which was responsible for the whole KYC process, which means for us at least much the process in terms of we had now one contact, one single contact uh, at your bank, and uh, you already uh, looked into it to standardize and harmonize the uh, documentation and the process. And um, that, saying that uh, improved uh, quite a lot. Um, I see it now with other banks as well. So um, there's definitely an improvement in, in, in that way uh, when, uh, when we're looking back uh, to, to past experience. But uh, uh, we have spoken um, uh, a lot of, uh, um, already, already about your experiences and your situation now. Yeah? If you would uh, um, summarize this yes, uh, um, for us, in which, uh, in which structure your setup is currently. Uh, uh, also in, in the comparison to the past, yeah? we have a central treasury, um, also in respect to the resources, is there, is there somebody which is working with a special focus um, on KYC um, already, or is it something which is shared with all team members? What is the situation on, as, as a result of, of your experiences in the past? Actually, we do have someone implemented who is uh, dedicated to KYC only. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a full-time job, but um, approximately um, half of the resources uh, is done for KYC or is, is, is parked for uh, KYC. Why we did so, or well, maybe let me start how we did in the past. Mm -hmm. um, so actually in the past it works that way. There was a request by the bank and, and someone took it up. Let's say it that way. So the first po uh, person who hit it, who were hit with this uh, request took it up. So that could be someone from the legal, someone from the tax, even from the uh, treasury. And then try to get the information, try to um, reply, response, whatever. Um, but that wasn't quite efficient, let's say it that way. Um, so we decided, okay, let's bundle it to one person and um, gave it a chance to fully focus on this one. Because uh, you also have to think about it, it's uh, quite complex, or you know it's quite complex. So um, it's really, really helpful if you have someone who is dedicated only to this work, and that's what we did. So the person uh, who is doing it is doing it now since more than two years, and um, it helps quite a lot. Uh, the person learned over time. They um, developed their own system. They kept already a stock of information, let's say, that way about all the entities which are in place, um, is well connect in the, connected in the, in the entity uh, or in the group, let's say, mm -hmm. that way. There's no a good connection to legal, to tax, to, of course, uh, part of our team, to the regions, to the finance directors, etc., etc. So um, that helps us uh, in, in terms of um, getting this uh, process run more smoothly. Because in the past often uh, the process stopped at some, some point because uh, information was missing or I didn't know where to go or whatever uh, reason. And now uh, the person really know, okay, 
Um, I know I, I, I have to follow on this track, um, just uh, start with the request as soon as possible and, and, and work with, um, with whatever is already there or uh, get the new information. So um, yes, yeah, so today one person in the treasury, uh, almost part time, uh, is working on KYC by us. Yeah. And of course, and, um, after the first uh, initial, um, um, initial QYC comes directly the review, yeah, no, not directly, yeah, after uh, <laughs> um, a certain period of time, but this is uh, of course something. And uh, um, our plan would be, hmm, um, of course, to start with you the next reviews directly on a digital platform. Um, and this is, I think, um, uh, also similar with, uh, uh, equal with other, par uh, other stakeholders in the banking industries. Um, out of my perspective, uh, a client will have very quickly two different opportunities uh, to use this. One is the own banking platform, yeah, with different solutions um, available here, but a, a single bank solution, but uh, uh, um, allow already allowing um, a digital collection, digital uh, communication in this regard, and digital storage of documents, yeah, from both sides on the platform of the bank. Um, and yeah, something more multi, yeah, multi uh, um, stakeholder, multi bank um, um, uh, uh, driven solutions like Swift, for example, yeah. yeah. Could speak a uh, later about this a, a bit more. And as mentioned, the first thing, the easiest thing out of my perspective is then uh, that, that the corporate can, can use uh, in the near future with the most of the bank, banks with us um, directly now, yeah, uh, their own platform. And uh, for us, this platform issue uh, in general are very important. This is part of the general digitization strategy of the bank to use the platform technology as much as possible. Yeah? And therefore, it was also, um, also a very logical step uh, to use our own already very integrated platform, yeah, SG Markets, also as client interface for you. Yeah. Means the platform is allowing um, uh, the encrypted exchange of sensitive data in regards to KYC, its own module. Uh, you know the Global Cash as a different module for the SG Markets and now um, we have also the um, uh, the KYC process um, uh, in the rollout for that. Um, and of course, um, the, uh, the workflow behind on our side is also digital. Yeah? But as mentioned, it's just as she would. Uh, it's good to have it. Yeah? Uh, um, but for a multinational company um, like Autotech, it's of course limiting to have then five, six, seven. Yeah? A single chains via the platforms, via the uh, solutions of, uh, of each bank. Yeah. Um, therefore, out of my perspective, and this is an also an interesting question to you because you are already on Swift, yeah, uh, um, have a Swift for corporates access, and you know Swift um, has started um, uh, some months ago um, out of the of a successful pilot, a own solution for corporates which are already on, on Swift, uh, the Swift QYC registry. Yeah. And this, uh, uh, this platform, um, uh, the solution, uh, um, let me say in this way, uh, the solution um, um, is tackling some of, the, uh, of your most important points. Yeah. Standardization, which you have mentioned it. Yeah. Standardization across the banks which are using this means similar, um, um, similar requirements, yeah. but also uh, the, the layout, uh, the structure of the documents and the request yeah, um, uh, is standardized. Um, all partners there yeah, um, um, had to follow this requirement or has created out of the working groups yeah, um, um, uh, a solution in this regard. And of course, um, you have um, directly a SWIFT member uh, so, uh, um, the chance to, to use here, for corporates this is uh, for free, um, a platform with a with the acceptable front end, yeah, <laughs> um, where we can upload um, uh, the um, your KYC data. So this is focused on, I think, the most important points. Yeah, that's like compliance, that's tax, yeah, that's ownership, yeah, 
it's uh, legitimization yeah? um, and uh, some more. But uh, yeah, I think the most important fields are standardized in this regard. Yeah? Of course, not everything. Yeah? I think that is uh, still a challenge. Yeah? You have uh, very local requirements and something like that. It's very difficult to standardize this. Yeah? But uh, SWIFT and uh, the banks and the corporates, which are in the working group, uh, um, are, um, are trying to, to push uh, here um, uh, the percentage um, of the standardization also in the next days, futures ongoing. Yeah? Uh, but this solution um, um, directly available uh, would, would help you um, um, to, yeah, to take a lot of this away in the standardization directly. Yeah? Is this something SWIFT KYC for corporates which is interesting for you? Do you have um, uh, um, uh, do you have an opinion to that already? Um, uh, if this could be the next step for Autodeck? For sure. I heard a couple of weeks ago uh, from this uh, platform and um, I um, t uh, had already the chance to, to pick up some information on this. So um, it sounds quite interesting for us. As you mentioned, it's one platform. It's um, connected to different banks. So uh, some multinational uh, banks are already um, yeah. part of this uh, corporations. Um, there are a couple of uh, corporates who are using it already. Um, I saw a picture of 140 or something like yeah. this. Um, so um, yes, um, I think there is definitely a need and a, a push in the industry to um, connect via this uh, one platform. And I think what Swift is doing um, is, is, is a good opportunity. Um, I think it's good to, to have such environment where you can um, easily connect. I mean, that's the core function of, of Swift anyway, uh, connect corp, I mean, it started with bank to bank, but now corporates and banks. So um, I think that is a project which is worth to look into more in detail and we will do for sure. Um, I guess your uh, SD market um, solution is, is, is pretty good as well. But as you mentioned, um, we are acting with, with, with a couple of, of um, big banks and therefore we definitely will go for um, um, a multi-solution, let's say it that way. Yeah? So um, it, is, uh, it is something which, which we are interested in it. I already um, addressed this within our teams and um, we will further discuss this and um, definitely happy uh, to do the, the renewal of our KYC with you uh, via the Swift uh, probably. So. I will check this out uh, within the next weeks. Absolutely, that's a, that's a, that's a great last words here <laughs> in the <laughs> workshop. Yeah, some last words uh, to the technology itself. Yeah, because this is very often the discussion. It's then Swift. Yeah, and for you, you are um, in the lucky position to to uh, to be a Swift partner. Yeah, that's right. Uh, um, but uh, it's in uh, direct. It's then directly also the limitation. Yeah, companies uh, without. Um, a SWIFT for corporates access have no chance to um, uh, to use um, this very easy and very efficient tool um, um, of SWIFT. And out of my perspective, um, also uh, in the next years, because this is an, yeah, you have to be partner on SWIFT. Yeah, that's uh, that's a challenge. Um, um, it could be then that we see in the market also some other f interesting uh, um, uh, and industry initiatives, uh, which are also trying to, to work with uh, um, uh, the exciting blockchain technology. Yeah. But unfortunately, I think also due to the fact that uh, this is a very um, um, sophisticated uh, technology stream, um, it's we are seeing it just pilots. Yeah, um, we are that, uh, we are also part of such an initiative uh, called Clipeum with some other banks and corporates uh, via the R3 consortium. Uh, very exciting, but this is something for the future. Yeah. Could be that it's an alternative at the end of the day uh, in the competition to SWIFT, but this is more something yeah, 
on the long run. Yeah, therefore, SWIFT is uh, also for me a very logical step for such a multinational company like Artotech to do. Let's say it that way to make this process more efficient and um, to be honest, to take out a little bit uh, from or take down a little bit of the resources which we have to put in at the moment. I think everybody knows we're working in this field um, since years uh, from the regulatory, they've just putting up, putting up, putting up. So actually I don't see that uh, the regulations are decreasing. Uh, just so whatever is there will be kept forever probably. And um, therefore, I'm a couple of years ago we said, hopefully they're taking it back, hopefully. But we, we are not, at, at, at this time we know it will not change. It will become more and more uh, probably, and therefore I'm looking actually um, more in the way technology, streamlining processes. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's the, the, the point uh, where we stand at the moment and where we're looking to, where we want to change. So that is the process has to change because uh, we don't see it as a main part in Treasury. Yeah, and you are well prepared for the next step, as, uh, as we have learned today. Yeah? Um, therefore, um, I'm quite sure that uh, um, if we do, uh, look back to the results of our poll, yeah, the main pain point, paper-based, uh, I think that is nothing which um, um, you and your infrastructure um, uh, have to face uh, with the next KYCs. Uh, yeah, and I think that is something which we together can switch off completely. Then, yeah? And uh, um, in a combination of a standardization, and this is then the question in which direction uh, you will develop your integrated digital process in this record, yeah? um, will this help a lot to concentrate you more on the strategic uh, uh, topics in Treasury? Yeah? Therefore, Thank you for uh, sharing your experience, uh, the best practice, the lessons learned, the critical uh, experiences in the past, and also the, the very positive outlook. That uh, I think was not just uh, um, exciting for me to hear yeah, and to learn again a lot. Um, thank you for being here, and let's work on SWIFT. Thank you, Ronnie. <laughs>